Today we're going to look at rounding decimals. Rounding approximates a number to fewer decimal places. So it's not as accurate, but it does mean that it's a bit easier to work with and we can use it to uh, work out uh, whether we've got a similar or correct answer a bit more easily. So to round a decimal, firstly, find the digit you're required to round to. It's good to make a bit of a mark, put an arrow or something to show that you know which is the digit you need to round to. Then if the digit to the right of the rounding digit is four or less, leave the rounding digit as is and just remove all of the, the digits after the one that you're looking at. If the digit to the right of the rounding digit is five or more, you need to round that digit up because it's closer to the number above and then and you need to uh, then remove and not worry about any of the other numbers coming after that rounding digit that you've been asked to round to. So if we've got this, this number here, 15.6327, if I was asked to round it to two decimal places, I put an arrow at the second decimal place, that's the first decimal place is the second, second decimal place here, the thousandths, the hundredths rather, the hundredths column, and that is the number I need to round to. So I look to the one to the right of it. So I've put a little arrow to show. I need to look to the one to the right of it. Now this number, it's four or less. So we need to leave the rounding digit as is and just remove them. So that round, that this number here, rounded to two decimal places, is 15.63. Note that I've used this symbol. I haven't written equals, but I've written is approximately equal to, because it is approximately equal to to the number above. So for three decimal places, we need to look at the third decimal place, one, two, three. Put an arrow to indicate that's the one we're going to round to. Look to the number to the right. That number seven is five or more. It's bigger than five, okay? So we need to round this number up. So two becomes three, and we don't worry about any numbers that come after that. So this number rounded to three decimal places is 15, 0.633. If we look at some examples here, we're asked to round each of the following uh, numbers to the specified decimal places. So these are the number of decimal places that has been specified. So for our first one, 25.682, we need to round it to one decimal place. So we look at the first decimal place here and the number next to it. The number next to it is bigger than 5, it's 8, so we need to round this number up. So we round the number up from 6 to 7, and don't worry about those. And we say it's approximately equal to 25.7. Our next number will round into one decimal place as well, so we put an arrow at the first decimal place. Look to the number to the right of it, it's 4 or less, so that means we leave the number as is. So we leave that 5, that decimal point as is, and don't worry about all of the other ones. We're saying it's approximately equal to 13.5. We're asked to round the next one to two decimal places. So we look at the second decimal place here and the number to the right of it. So the number to the right of it is a seven, it's bigger than five. So we need to make, uh, make sure that this number increases. So we round it up. So four is rounded up to five, okay? Uh, and we don't worry about the other numbers that come after it. So this is a number rounded to two decimal places, 18.35. For our last number here, we're asked to round it to three decimal places. So the third decimal place here is nine. Okay, is the nine in the thousandth, thousandths column there. To the right of that is a six. We need to round that number nine up. So the, the number larger than nine is 10. Okay, so that means we need to round it up to a zero and then add one to the next column over. If I add one to the next column over, okay, uh, it's going to be it's going to be ten as well. Okay, so that transfers over. So here we're adding adding one to our number and that makes it ten. So that one is then carried into the next column and it, it's carried into the next column as well. So you can see essentially what we're doing is we're going from 599 and we're rounding 599 up by one number. So 599 up is 600, okay? Now we need to make sure that we still include the two zeros even though this is, this is 
equal to, this value here is equal to 7.6, it's the same, exactly the same, we need to show the two zeros because we've been asked to round to three decimal places. So we need to show that we've sh shown the three decimal places there. So our number here, 7.59967, when rounded to three decimal places is 7.600.